welcome back in this video i'm going to brief you on my latest creation which is a combination of monthly and weekly stats tracker in a single google sheet so this is as per request from some of you commented under my previous monthly tracker video and also some of my existing buyers who wish to have this weekly stats tracker so i've created a combination of all these two either you are tracking for a monthly stats or you are tracking for a weekly stats you can use this template i would probably also create a separate version that only contains a weekly stats tracker so if that's what you need you can just grab that or i would recommend you to get this monthly and weekly tracker because you never know what you're going to need in the future plus this um, template you can reuse them for years to come so i guess um, the combination is the best value for your money so let's get started if you have purchased my monthly tracker before you would know that this is the similar format and for this one it will be the same for what you have received and i also have a video if you are new to this I have a detailed video that describes you on how to customize it, how to use it, and what feature it has. And now we're going to move on to weekly tracker. Basically, it's the exact same thing, just that instead of year month, now we see year week. So how we can use this is that first of all, we're going to define our start year. So the format will be the four digit year. So you can key in the four digit year here. For example, you can key in 2022 and it will change the headers or I will just leave it as 2023, like the original one. And so you can key in the start week number as well. So for example, you might want to start at the first week of the year, but in case you purchase this template in the middle of the year or anywhere you want, you can just start right here. Maybe you want to start from week 10, you can just choose week 10. Yeah, and once we did that, we can move on to um, the next one, which is the end year. So now I've key in 2024, week number one. And when we scroll to the right, you can see that um, I have the exactly same week until for the entire tracker. And you can completely edit this tool if you need more years. Then we have the week system. For example, the first system is that um, the first week of the year is the week containing January 1st. And the second system is that the first week of the year is the week containing the first Thursday of the year. So this is the European system of numbering the weeks. You can choose your own definition. If you are choosing system two, it will always start from Monday. And if you are choosing the system one, you can define your start date. For example, you want to start from Monday and so on. You can see that um, the week number changes slightly because of the different definition. So yeah, I will just stick to system two because that's like, I think the most standardized way of defining the weeks. And next on, we also have the year week format where you can just define how you want to these headers to appear. For now, we have three different categories. I have this um, year dash followed by the week number. And I also have the one without the dash. So you can just choose whichever you like. Or the last one is the week only. So this is uh, applicable. Say for example, you only want to track this for one year. So it will make sense to maybe change this to week, sorry, year 2023. So that it's under the same year. And we can choose the week number to be 53. So as you can see in the this year, we don't have a week 53. So you want to select week 52 instead. So it shows the entire year like this. Right, so it's more simplified in a way. So it don't show you the year because it's a bit re redundant when it's all the same year. And um, yeah, um, and similar to our previous template, we also have a line chart, which I can show you later, but this selection is for you to change the color. And we also have a tutorial that link you to the previous um, monthly tracker, but I'll replace this with uh, the newest video, which is this one. So you can refer it to it whenever you want. So right now, let's just get started of filling in the data so we can see what happens and what is the feature available after you fill in the data. So for example, I can key in some data under number of articles published. 
So right now I'm just filling in the first three weeks and now I'm going to choose the current year week that I want it to be. So for example, the current week is on week three. So I'm going to choose week three. And you can see that it will show us the trend across the month starting from week one to week three. And this will show a symbol of whether um, it's increasing trend or decreasing trend compared to the last week because we have chosen week three and as you can see it's increasing 50% and you will calculate the growth percentage for us as well. If I choose week two, you will see a downward trend and because of that, it will show us in a red color. So that's how we can use this tracker. Um, it's pretty easy to use and you can fill in the data here as you wish. Yep, and similar to the previous template, you can also customize the color. Pretty easy. Let me just show you this one. You can go to format and go to team. And here you can see that this is the custom team that I've created. You can go to customize and here you can select the color you want. And it should change the color automatically for you once you selected that. So right now I'm just going to reverse it back so I keep my original design. So I guess this is all that I want to share in this video. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed this quick tour of my template. If you are interested, don't forget to look for the link in the description below and remember to grab your discount code in my website if you are the first time purchasing in my shop. And I wish you a very good year in 2023. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy this kind of video and if you would like to support my channel. Thank you so much and see you next time. Bye bye.